Welcome to Arkansas. And, uh, yeah, we got a slow start this morning. I'm not actually in the tournament. Some of you asked if I was in the tournament. I'm not. Um, there's actually tournament boats flying by back here somewhere. Today, I actually wanted to film a video of how to find certain brush and docks that produce fish or that hold fish. The past two days, uh, we got here Wednesday night and we fished for like an hour, two hours, something like that. And then yesterday was just fun fish. I'm here with my brother. It's kind of his vacation, so I, I was trying to split time between filming and then just actually fun fishing, no cameras, anything like that. I'm gonna walk through how we kind of use the mapping system that's free on the Arkansas Fishing Game website to find brush piles, and also just how to use side imaging and the live scope um, to find fish. Now, we didn't actually catch any yesterday. We found quite a few fish. So I, I've, I've gotten pretty used to the live scope. I know what small fish versus vi big fish look like, and these were definitely big crappie. Uh, the struggle, like many pro anglers, if you've seen their Facebook or their Instagram pages, the bite has been really tough. Um, if you can find them, it's probably going to take a while for them to bite. Uh, live minnows are probably key. We didn't have live minnows yesterday. We're picking live minnows up today. So hopefully that changes things. This is the main channel right here. That's the main river channel. You get to see a bunch of boats flying by. So yeah, that is that is our view. It's awesome. Thank you to Ronnie for who owns this condo for setting us up. He actually owns five or six other condos. I'll put a link in the video description. I'm going to show you around this condo and the other ones as well. Go to some we're gonna go find some brush piles on some bridges here that we found on the map if you go to the Arkansas website you can pull up the map uh, they have locations for these brush piles so we're gonna go to one of those right now see if there's any fish on it um, and then we're just gonna cruise some docks this is basically how we found brush yesterday we spent a long time this is my brother by the way this is my brother Austin uh, we spent a long time on the water just cruising docks trying to find brush that held fish uh, I know a lot of guys on Facebook and Instagram have been saying, you know, the, the tournament guys, because they got the live scope and because they got the, the side imaging and all the mega imaging stuff, they should be able to catch fish. Not really the case. The bite was terrible yesterday. Was it terrible? Was ter we, we, didn't, we didn't catch a single fish. We saw, we saw a bunch of fish yeah. on the live scope. They weren't biting though. They just would not bite. They'd come right up to the plastic and just, and then they go right back down to the brush. Um, but today's a lot cooler. We had a rain this morning. Uh, temps are only supposed to be about 85. So let's just go out to this bridge here Get on the side imaging and see if we can find some brush. Oh, there's a is that a tree? I think there's a tree right there Yeah, there's some there's some wood So I'm coming up to this bridge here and uh, We're actually gonna pull up on the the river flows this way, so we're gonna pull up on the downstream side. Oh, there's some fish. There's some fish stacked up right there on that edge. I don't know what they are though. Where was it? Back there somewhere. I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna mark that. Definitely mark that. Coming up on something. I don't know. Is that a big brush pile? Is that a, that's a big brush pile, isn't it? That's a giant brush pile. We'll mark that. We'll circle back over these and go with go over them with the live scope to see if there's some fish. It looks like there's some fish on it. All right, so there is the brush pile on the live scope. There it is right there. That's a big brush pile. Holy smokes. And there looks like there's some fish kind of stacked up on the outer edge there. There's a couple of them swimming right there. And he's going to grab a live minnow and then we're going to see if we can catch one here on the live scope. Yeah, I don't think this is an active brush pile, unfortunately. So we're going to move to a different brush pile on a dock. Um, hopefully there's nobody there. I don't know. There's also a, looks like there's a storm might be coming in. See the bottom here? 
So let's see if we can put some fish in the boat before the storm actually comes and drenches us. All right, quick pit stop. We got some white bass blown up in front of us. My brother's gonna throw a, no, not the minnow. Grab the plastic, my rod. We got some white bass blown up right in front of us here, so. Let's throw it out there. And just kind of twitch it across the top of the water. They're blowing up all around us. This is awesome. It's a fast presentation. Go out to where they're splashing. Oh my goodness, they are blowing up all over the place. Right here, just cast it right to where they're splashing. Marty in the middle of the month. Getting hit yet? They're all over the place. All right, stand up here. I'm gonna grab a rod. <laughs> I cannot pass this up. Uh, looks like there was one. No, that's not a tournament guy. It's only got one guy in a boat. Just go grab a little fluke here. There you go. Get it? Yeah, yeah, Bob. Well, I got you. There we go. Oh, they're hybrids. Nice. Put them in the boat. Gotta let them line out. <laughs> Gotta let them line out. It's a nice hybrid. There we go. Put that hook out. Go. Pull her up. First fish on Lake Hamilton, right there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there we go. Well, how big do they usually get? That's a pretty small one. <laughs> oh. Throw her back. See you, buddy. All right, they're still busting. So I'm gonna set this. I don't. I completely forgot my tripod. So I'm gonna set this on a seat and uh, try to catch one. I'm surprised. I've, we've only seen like three or four tournament boats. There's a hundred of them on the lake. They must be on the far south end of the lake. We're way up river right now. So. All right, we're gonna roll up on some docks here. We're gonna roll up on some docks here. And uh, we've actually found some brush piles up on one of these docks, but I wanna show you what we're seeing on side imaging. A lot of you ask that question. What do they look like on side imaging? And all we're gonna do, I got to set 60 feet. We'll go like this. 60 feet left and right. Here are my settings. Seven, sensitivity. I, for whatever reason, I've been turning this down. I've been finding it's easier to pick out some different structure. When you turn it up, you get all this clutter. So I'm, I've been turning it down to about seven. I don't know. And uh, contract set 11. I think I did, that was just my default. But here, going into some docks here, doesn't look like there's much under that dock. But coming up on this one, this is where we uh, we found a bunch of brush on this dock. So there's a start of a brush pile. You can see it both. That's a, probably a school of shad right there, and there's some brush. There's some more brush coming up. There's just a ton of brush around this dock. There's a school of something suspended. And here is a ton, ton of brush all around this dock. There's some, oh, there's fish suspended right there. I'll see all those fish. I'm gonna zoom in on that. You can zoom in on that stuff right there. It's just a ton of fish suspended right there. That is what we're gonna try and catch. All right. So we're gonna turn the live scope on here. But those fish look like they're on this side of the dock pretty much right under this little, I don't know, this swimming 
platform thing. So we're gonna hook up some live minnows and hopefully pull some fish off this dock. There were, I didn't, I saw one probe team boat come out of here, but I don't know if they're fishing the spot or not. I haven't seen any other boats come in here. Um, if there does happen to be a boat that comes in here, we'll, we'll move off the dock. Uh, I don't want to mess them up, but since nobody's in here, we'll fish it. I'm gonna rig up two lab minnows and put some fish in the boat. All right, so it looked like they were right on this swim platform, possibly this post. Yeah, there they are. Oop, let me show you here. So that line going straight up and down, that's that post. That's that post. And those are all fish stacked up above it, I'm pretty sure. So we will, oh, can't get a good view. There we go. Ah. There we go. I should really learn how to use the app. You can, you can insert a memory card and it records it for you. Yeah, there's us going down. Get him. Snag. All right. Yeah, that's a flick technique. There you go. Pops right out. There he is. Got him that time. Oh, it's a big crappie. Oh my goodness. Awesome. Look at that. Holy. <laughs> yes. Well, let's see if we can weigh her. Oh my, wow, that's a big crappie. There's some tanks down there. But that is the first Lake Hamilton crappie for us. Uh, there are a ton of these down there. We can see them on the live scope yesterday. They're all like this. It's just, we needed the live minnows to make them bite. So we're gonna weigh this one real quick. 108, can you see that? Well, if you see lightning, we'll pack up and get the heck out of the, off the water, which sucks, because I bet the bite's gonna turn on right now. They're right by the post, or no, they're right, right here by the second float. That second float over. And hold on. So this is what we mean. There are just, they're all big. They're all about that size right there. There they are right there. Oops. They're all just right in there. Well, as you can see, it uh, yeah, it's downpouring now. We uh, we just got back, <laughs> just in time almost. We got a little wet, but not like this. So we're gonna wait it out for a little bit, and uh, I don't know. We'll see. We might have to go back to the condo. Yeah. Well, as you can hear, it's still raining. It's, uh, it's been about three hours, four hours, something like that, since we were last out there. The tournament day is over. Um, only 40 boats weighed in a fish. Yikes. Uh, but I, I was actually talking to a couple different locals, messaged me on Instagram, and they said the dock that I was fishing is the dock. So we found it yesterday. We saw him fish on it, just couldn't get him to bite yesterday. Got the one to bite today. Um, probably, <laughs> we would have been in the top 40. But uh, obviously, we use live minnows, so we're actually going to go back out to that same dock, see if we can catch some on some plastics, and then we're going to run around a little bit. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It's raining. Probably not going to last very long. We only got like two hours of light left, so we'll see. All right, back out on the water. Rain finally stopped. Sucks is the uh, marinas to stop selling gas at about 5:30. So yeah, we'll make it till tomorrow. He's using a jig head. I'm going with an Aberdeen and a split shot. Just trying to mix it up, see if we can get something to bite. We've been here probably what 30 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that. 
We've got a couple bites, but they've been really, really soft, even for live minnows. And there is the school. There's the school. They're just all stacked up. They're nice crappie, too. They're all probably 12 plus inch fish. Oh, there he is. Got him. And they're big. Oh, no. What am I doing? What am I doing? That was a 15 inch fish, wasn't it? Jeez. Oh my God, what am I doing? Oh, this is what happens when you get two bites in one day. Or three bites or whatever it was. That was a big fish. They're right here by the edge. Dang it. Those two fish probably would have put us in the top 10 of the tournament. I guarantee it. <laughs> the way that uh, everything weighed in today, yeah. I back took that one. I was front hooking them. I was hooking them through the lip. And that last one I back took. Oh, no. Video up. So that is our one and only fish today we boated. Better than actually a lot of guys. Um, <laughs> there's only 40 guys that actually landed a fish and weighed a fish um, during the tournament here. Uh, we actually didn't run into any tournament anglers. Like, we didn't bump into any of them, so that's always good. And, uh, yeah, we're going to let this guy go. Um, he's been in a live well, but he's still kicking. That was basically the gist of it. You do need some sort of either, at very minimum, down imaging to kind of see underneath these docks. That's where the brush piles were. You probably need side imaging, uh, but at a minimum, down imaging. Down imaging will get you that wider angle, but side imaging for sure helps finding these, these brush piles on these docks. We traveled 14 and a half hours to a lake we've never fished before. Luckily, there is some intel of where brush piles are, but um, this is basically how you have to get it done. If you travel on vacation to a new lake you've never fished before, you kind of need that side imaging and just cruising the docks, cruising the points, bridge pilings, it's basically all we did. We saw a bunch on the live scope. There are fish underneath this dock. Um, so appreciate you watching as always. Uh, the next video is going to be at the Crappie Expo, I think, and then we're going to fish tomorrow after that and then head home. So appreciate you watching as always. We'll see ya.